friends welcome to my channel ponvira citadel which is an educational channel and in this video we are going to see the fifth unit of ugc net paper 1 namely mathematical reasoning and aptitude you all know that reasoning is the unique characteristics or capability found only in human beings other animals may have some memory which can be improved by training it they cannot reason out reasoning is essentially thinking about something it could be about anything but it involves thinking in a very logical and sensible manner often time it involves decision making on the basis of the information so we have right having defined the reasoning we will straight plunge into some types of reasoning problems asked in net today we are going to concentrate only on one type namely coding and decoding and that that to basically on uh, two types of questions which are usually asked in net we'll go one by one in many short such videos because this involves uh, drawing lot of tables and diagrams for me and also it's better for you to practice one at a time and make it perfect so that you won't get confused or bored coding and decoding in coding always there is a sender and there is a receiver uh, the sender sends the information in the form of codes and he may use different forms of coding as we see in the slide he may use numbers for coding so we call it coding based on numbers or he may use letters alphabets for coding we call it coding based on letters and he may use symbols any kind of images pictures or sometimes he may use the combination of all the above part of it number part letter like our password you know what we are doing in the password we are some kind of encoding it is also called encryption so thus and sometimes coding is also based on substitution you substitute some letters or some numbers for other letters or other numbers so thus the information is hidden in the form of a secret code so that only the intended receiver can receive the message and he alone can decipher the meaning and dec or decode it understand the content and accordingly respond or may not respond that is not our moderation our task is just to uh, decode the information and decipher the meaning and choose the correct option given at the end of the question right and usually uh, the coding is must in military in army you know because uh, they are very often they send messages secret messages about the plan of attack or about the secret place where the weapons are stored remember the movie roja which we are all fond of where the hero aravind sami when asked about his job by the right side people he says he is a cryptologist meaning that he is a qualified person to receive codes and decode it and decipher the meaning encoding and decoding that is he is responsible for secured communications in the army and encoding and decoding is also known as encryption and decryption this i am telling this is not uh, nothing to do with this uh, mathematical reasoning but these words are very common words which you should know because it might be very useful in the next session that is uh, communication uh, comprehension uh, section so encryption is encoding and decryption is decoding because the uh, crypto the word crypto means hidden so that is why this word encryption and decryption i know in this video we are going to see all the methods of coding and decoding one by one and hack the 
secret message see before we get into some problems uh, for doing we will see some of the basic rules or basic steps that you should remember uh, for this type of coding and decoding question the first thing you should do is to draw a table like this where you are going to list all the alphabets all the 26 letters a to z in the order and in the row above write the corresponding number for each alphabet for example a is 1 so write there 1 b is 2 c is 3 up to z so 26 letter z is 20 this is direct order of the alphabet write it and also the other side of the alphabets that is in the row that is below the alphabets you write the numbers in the reverse order that is z will take the number one and a will take the number 26 because there are 26 later so you draw this immediately as soon as you see any question on coding and decoding the first thing you do is to draw this table because this is easy all that you need to remember is a to a to z and also the number i don't think anybody can remember the corresponding uh, numbers by heart that is h is 8 and p is 16 i don't remember and i don't advise anybody to mug this one because i think it is humanly impossible and it is also a waste of time and our precious uh, memory space so draw this immediately even if it takes two seconds or three seconds draw this table immediately you need not even draw squares you just draw a straight line and put a b c d to up to z opposite to the right one two three mostly the direct order is used sometimes they may ask reverse order also we will see it later and also make a note of it that these two numbers the direct order number and the indirect order reverse order number always add up to 27 for z it is 26 plus 1 27 and for a it is 1 plus 26 just the reverse of this 1 and 26 this is 26 and 1 okay so they add up to 27 b 2 and 25 27 and for c 3 and 24 add up to 27 so for all the alphabets if you add the direct order number and the reverse order number it should add up to 27 that point you keep it in your memory because it may be used in solving some of the problems later on so i told you it is not possible to remember each and every alphabet the number but it is easy to remember the word ijoti isn't it ijoti e j o t y ijoti because e the corresponding number is 5 and j 10 o 15 t 20 y 20 so it is 5 and multiples of 5 this is easy to remember isn't it so just to remember this one word ijoti 5 10 15 20 25 then you can easily or uh, calculate the you can easily remember the letters previous to e we know that a b c d c d is the number previous so one 5 minus 1, 4. So before this, or the fourth alphabet is D. And you can start from J. Isn't it? Uh, J, K, L, M, N, O. And the previous, I, J, K, L. So one letter or two letters before, and one letter or two letters afterwards, we can, of course, afterwards, we can remember all the letters continuously. But before, the previous, in the reverse order, it is difficult. But one or two letters, we can easily remember. For uh, O, we know that it is M, N, O, P, Q. O, o P, Q, R, S, T, U, that you can go very fast. So, if you, if you remember this, you keep this in memory. But this one, uh, it is not advisable to uh, remember all these things. I don't know. Or because I don't remember and I don't advise you to remember. I don't know whether there are any people who remember this. So, draw this table immediately because this, we are going to use this in the calculation okay another thing you ought to keep in mind is that opposite pairs of alphabet so what are opposite pairs 
A is opposite, A and Z are opposite pairs and B and Y are opposite pairs. How do we do that? You just write A, B, C, D up to Z, 26 letters, you know. And what is half of 26 is 13. So write the first 13 letters above, A to M. And the 14th letter you start this way, reverse, from here to here, in reverse order. A to M, the first 13 letters in direct or disorder and the next 13 letters in the reverse order from this way to this way. If you write like this a table, then you will know the opposite pairs. A is opposite of Z, B is opposite of Y, C and X form the opposite pairs, D and W, E and V. F and you again, I tell you, don't try to mug this. Learn it by heart. It is not possible. So just write the alphabets up to 13. 13 is half of 26. Up to M in the uh, direct order and uh, N to Z in the reverse order. Then you will get the opposite pairs. And G is the opposite of T, H is S and because this may be used in decoding some information if it is encoded in that way using this opposite pairs. So J is opposite of Q, P is opposite of K, L is opposite of O, M is N. And remember, if you add the direct order number and the reverse order number, then you should get 27. So these pairs also, they add up to 27. A is number is 1 and Z number is 26. 26 plus 1 27. B is number is 2 and Y is number is 25. Total is 27. So always the direct order number plus reverse order number you should get 27. So if you know one number then you can find out the other number, the reverse order number by adding or minusing from 27, right? So the B, when written in the uh, direct order, it will take the number 2, but when uh, written in the reverse order, it will take the number 26, I mean 25. Uh, 26 is for A. So if you add the uh, numerals of uh, the opposite pairs numbers, it should add up to 27. So this might be used in some of the coding problems which we will see later on. So I want you to remember or make a note of this point also. See this uh, first type of question which is very direct. The question goes like this, in a certain type of coding, interpretations, that is the word interpretation is written as A, P, Y, X, S, B, S, X, Y, E, P, A, some word. It is coded like this. And another word, inter, is written as A, P, Y, X, S. Then how will persistent the word persistent be written using the same type of coding. So this is the question and what you are going to do is this is the word given and the, the coding for this encoded word is also given. So you write a box and write all the letters of this word interpretations separately and in the row below write the corresponding code words. Code word for I is A, code word for N is P, code word for T is Y. So, because it is given. So, write that box. Okay. Now, put one more box with two rows. And in the first row, write the word which we are going to encode now. Persistent. The word given is persistent. P, E, R, write it separately, each letter in each box. And now we are going to find out the code for P. Look at this word. How is P written here? 
P is written as B. That is the code. B is the code word for P. So opposite to P, you write B. And the next letter is E. Look, look up here. How is E written? E is written as X. So X is the code for E. And what is the next letter? R. Look up here. What is the code word? Yes. Write yes here. What is the next word? Next letter? Yes. Look up here. How is yes written? Yes is coded as U. So write here E. Then look up here. I is written as A. I. Bring it down. Put it down. And yes is again. Yes is written as U. Write U here. And T is written as Y. So write Y here. E is written as X. So write X here. And N is written as. What is the code for N? Code for N is P. So write P. What is the code for T? T is coded as Y. So write Y. So this is the answer. B, X, S, U, A, U, Y, X, P, Y. This is the correct answer. Because I am not giving here option 1, option 2, option 3, option 4 because I tried to give 1, 2, 3, 4 but I went mad because writing this nonsense words like you pick a cookie, cookie, blah, 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 blah. Because I go mad writing uh, these like counting the numbers <laughs> and writing the uh, you know nonsense words i really went mad after uh, 10 o'clock in the night so i thought i should straight away give you the correct answer i know you're all intelligent to understand this concept so this is the concept used here so no, no i thought i no need to give for option a b c d and you are going to eliminate the other options this is the correct correct answer you get the pattern that is all. What is the pattern here? So this coding is, the pattern is here. So how is I written? How is A? So put it. So first, the given word, whose answer is given, whose code is given. Write the word here. And write the uh, coded words below. And write the word which for which it is asked in this. And look up here and bring the coded words here. Down. So you get the answer. This is straight method. And then why is this? Inter given this is only to confuse you again. Inter is a i is a n is p t is y. You know, it is in the same order, direct order. So you need not even look into it, but of course, you just uh, additional information, maybe a noisy information, noisy data. Okay, because we are not going to use this here. And so you got my point. This is a very simple type of coding, direct method. This is one type of question which may be asked. Clear? Okay, I'm sorry, in the previous slide, uh, that inter is not a uh, noisy data. It is a useful data. Because why they have given is, this is the two, for you to know the pattern. That is in the word uh, interpretations and in inter, the same coding is used. Direct order coding is used. So, to give you additional clue. So, this cannot be a noisy data. This is a useful uh, data. Alright, I am sorry. See, this is a second type of question that may be asked in NET. There are many times we are going to see them one by one. And uh, this involves adding or subtracting a constant number the pattern is different we saw previously uh, directly we copy the code without making use of the numbers so that is a direct method here uh, in this problem we are going to uh, make use of this table which i talked about earlier like the number this is the direct order number this is the reverse order for each alphabet okay you just draw that table and what is the question here in a certain coding method the word write is written as x s j u f then how will the word read be coded so write the word write w r i t e separate each box and how is it written write in another box x s j u f 
Okay, copy it because I'm writing it separately because we are going to use the numbers here. So make sure you draw two tables with each consisting of two rows. The one is the given word and the another uh, table for the uh, encoded word. So W R I T. Now copy the numbers here. See here the direct order number. So what is uh, the number for W? It is 23. So write here 23. What is the corresponding number for R? It is 18. So always now look into the direct order number, not the reverse order. Unless and until specified, don't use this reverse order uh, till I tell you. Okay. So what is the R? Number is 18. Write it. For I, it is 9. See here, I, it is 9. And for the next letter T, it is 20. Right here, 20. And for E, we know E is 5 always. Y is OT. Remember that. Now, we have written the numbers for the word right. Now, we have to find the coded word for X, uh, X, J, U, F. Okay, right here, X, S, J, U. And what is the number for X? Look here. Again, look here. It is 24 right here. And for S, the number is 19. See here. Yes, so S, the number is 19. And for J, and where is J, the number is 10. So copy it here, J, 10. And for the letter U, it is 21. Yes, copy here. F, it is 6. See here. F, it is 6. So, okay, this letter word this nonsense word is copied from here this is in the form of code so x s j u f and the corresponding numbers are there now look for the pattern see here 23 is written as 24 18 is written as 19 9 is written as 10 20 is written as 21 5 is written as 6 so what is the pattern here plus 1 is the pattern isn't it? So it is easy. Plus 1. 23 plus 1, 24. 18 plus 1, 19. 9 plus 1, 10. 20 plus 1, 21. 5 plus 1, 6. So the pattern is plus 1. We got the pattern. Now we are going to encode for the word read. How will read be coded? So write there the word read, R, D, A, D separately. And write the corresponding numbers. R is 18. And E is 5. Here, first look up here and then write E is 5. And what is the number for A? A is 1. What is the number for D? D is 4. So copy it from here and we got this. Now add one number. The pattern is plus 1. So add 18 plus 1 becomes 19. 5 plus 1, 6. 1 plus 1, 2. And 4 plus 1, 5. And look up the corresponding letters for these numbers. What is the letter for it? 19. Look up. Always the direct order. What is the letter for 19? It is yes. Right here, yes. What is the letter for 6? It is F. So, right here, F. What is the letter for 2? It is B. You know, A, B. 2, 3, 4, 5. Up to 5 we can remember. Isn't it? A, B, C, D and b what is the letter for five we know that you did not even look up we know that five is for e e j o t so the word read will be coded as yes f b e the answer is yes f b e got it so these are the two types of Questions that may be asked. See, uh, this being the first example for this type of question, I have used a very simple uh, problem where the pattern is plus one. We are adding just one one number. The next letter plus one means the next alphabet. W X R S I J T U E F. Same way for read R, S, E, F, A, B, D, E. Sometimes some people may easily find this pattern without even looking into the number. 
because W is written as X. Next letter R is written as S. I is written as J. The next letter T is written as U plus one addition one. So some people may see the pattern immediately and without even putting the table, they can uh, straight away write the code for read. The next letter for R is S. The next letter for E is F. The next letter for A is B. The next letter for D is E. So if it is possible, yes. But sometimes we don't know then the pattern is here plus one. But sometimes it may be plus two. It may be the pattern may be uh, plus three. So in that case, it will be very difficult. So you better you uh, draw the table and calculate it. So find the pattern. Sometimes it may be minus. Minus one or minus two, minus three letters, minus four letters. So in the in the in those cases, it will be difficult without the table. So the, better go for the table. Yes, that's all for this video. We have seen two types of coding and decoding, and the other types will follow in the uh, next video. We'll go as I told you in the beginning. We'll go one or two types per video so that it will be easier for both of us and please uh, subscribe to my channel Ponvaira Sekadal and don't forget to send in the comment box whether you have understood the concept of these two types of coding and decoding whether you are able to do it and while practicing it don't try for more than three or four examples it's not necessary at all just know the pattern that is all this this is the pattern don't try to use big, big words, long sentences and try to code it. Uh, because definitely you are not going to get it into, into memory, these numbers, corresponding numbers. So there is a purely waste of time. Just try two or three problems for each type. That will do. To get to know the factor. Okay. Thank you. Bye-bye.